Welcome back to Info Squad, where information equals freedom. Over the last two weeks, Mexico has been struck by two massive earthquakes, toppling buildings, destroying highways, and killing hundreds of people. What is it that these two earthquakes have in common? The two epicenters of these quakes were only a few hundred miles apart. The first of these two quakes was an 8.1 in magnitude, and the second was only a 7.1. It appears that the 7.1 has caused more damage due to its location near populated areas like Mexico City. Both quakes occurred as a rupture of the fault lines within the North American tectonic plate. Two major earthquakes occurring in the same country in a short time frame is not as uncommon as you might think. Typically, when fault lines rupture, they can cause even more ruptures as a chain effect in other parts of the same fault, or even nearby fault lines. These quakes took place in an area known as the Ring of Fire, and this is where about 80% of earthquakes strike. You can see this zone in red on the map. Some of the deadliest quakes ever recorded have occurred within the Ring of Fire including a 9.5 magnitude that struck Chile in the 1960s. Aftershocks can occur within minutes, days, or even months after the main quake strikes. There is a strong relationship between earthquakes and volcanoes, both of which have seen major increase in activity over the past few decades. There are several theories that attempt to explain this increase in seismic activity, ranging from deep ocean drilling to Planet X or Nibiru getting closer. One of the more plausible theories is that the coronal holes on the Sun coupled with planet alignments can create changes in the electromagnetic fields of Earth. This can have an impact on the movement of Earth's mantle and its crust. If you are interested in this increase in activity, Go back and check out some of our videos on volcanoes, because the one thing we know for sure is, seismic activity is on the rise. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Leave us a comment down below. If you like what we're doing here at Info Squad, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you in the next video.